Ooh. Hey, Capricorns. Oh, back again so soon? No. I have to apologize. I hope you didn't try to watch the live that I just probably posted on my YouTube. Uh, my Wi-Fi is really acting up. I think my kids used all the high-speed data or something like that. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to record it again. I'm going to reread your true love spread and uh, record it for you and then upload it. So, you don't have to deal with all those interruptions. And that's stressful. That's frustrating. I hate watching something cutting in and out and in and out. It just sucks that I can't you know, interact with y'all's energy and, you know, kind of pick up from you being in my, my chat. Man, story of my life. So let's get to it, because I don't want to hold you up for too long. The last one was like 36 minutes. Sheesh. All right. Divine Creator, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Archangels, can I please call you in for this true love spread for the sign the zodiac sign, all zodiac signs of Capricorn, please. Can you give us insight, please, into the zodiac sign Capricorn's true love spread? All right, with this first card, what I'm going to draw is this is going to be your energy, Capricorn. Can you please give me? It just landed right on my thing, my hand, top of my hand. Okay, so Capricorn. You are in the Six of Cups energy. This is a really pretty card. I love this card. It's like almost an innocent feeling to it, but it signifies nostalgia and happy memories. You have a lot of happy memories and a lot of cups full of love for your partner. Um, and that's what you're feeling like. You're feeling uh, you're having pleasant, comforting memories of you two and your relationship. Um, yeah, and uh, you could build your future, like use the memories that you have of all the times that you've shared together to build a strong foundation or just repair something that might be, you know, coming off the side. <laughs> if you've been in the relationship for a long time, you know, sometimes uh, some things need a little readjusting, just like a house or anything. Let's see. Um, there could be, it could be that you need to uh, reconcile with your partner right now and you're, you're planning to do that. Uh, reconcile about something related to leaving the past behind you. That's what I'm getting. Um, it could mean that you're going to give your partner an apology. Oh, I hope I don't sneeze. Oh, God. Or uh, they could be giving you an apology coming you know, with their cup of love and being like, I'm sorry, I fucked up, you know. Um, or one of, you may, Capricorn, you might have to uh, return to the past to unlock some skeletons out of the closet. So, um, whatever it is, it's still a very loving energy. And it means that you and your partner may be, uh, this could be for some of y'all, have known each other since childhood or uh, maybe lived beside each other or went to the same school. But uh, you have a lot of good memories together, regardless whether you known each other from childhood. This card also has Scorpio energy. You know, it represents Scorpio. The sign Scorpio. Let's see if I can get anything else. Uh, yeah, it's, it seems like you're really content and you love your partner. You're very pleased and you think of the comforting, loving memories that y'all have built together through your relationship. And that gives strength to this relationship. Yeah. Um, and it, it those memories themselves can help you manifest. You keep thinking about memories and building on those memories and then just imagining more good things to come in your future. You know? Yeah, you can manifest a better future for yourself and your partner. All right, so let's get back to it. I'm going to ask for a card to represent <laughs> Capricorn's partner's energy. And we received the Hierophant in reverse. 
for your partner's energy right now. Hierophant in reverse. So your partner may be feeling like um, they want to overthrow old traditions or religions or ideas um, that are, uh, yeah, or maybe even, maybe they're rebelling. They, they kind of have this rebellious feel to this. I have like a rebellious feel right now. I don't know if someone's being very rebellious in their relationship or against like parents. Uh, they don't want to conform is what I'm hearing. They don't want to conform uh, to something. They don't want to have to change to be um, yeah they feel like they're being suffocated or that um, yeah whatever it is that they're rebelling against they feel like is suffocating them they don't feel like they have enough room to get away like they don't even have enough room to take a breath and um, yeah and you feel, you know, your partner's feeling like whatever it is that, suff, you know, they feel suffocated by or smothered by, they believe is no longer serving them. Yeah, they may be getting ready to walk away. So, mm, I don't know, this could be you. I don't know. Let's, let's read further into it. How about that? What is it, Divine Creator, that binds Capricorn and their current partner, please? together. What binds them together? What holds and brings them together? Can you tell me? Ooh, okay. I guess I need to reshuffle a little duffel duffel. Okay. 654. We're doing good on time. All right. What binds these two together? Capricorn and their current partner. What helps bind them together? What did bring them together? What brought them together? Yeah. Can we know, please? Can you give us insight? Thank you. What binds them together? Capricorn and their current partner, please. Ooh, got two cards for that one. Make sure nothing else flew out. Okay. So, in the third position, it shows what it is that brought you guys together. All the lovers. Look at that. That's so sweet. This is a divine connection. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. Um, the lover's card. Okay, so upright, which is even better. Let me read it to you. It says, refers to thoughtfulness in making choices. So, uh, y'all are both thoughtful with making choices regarding one another. Also, um... Y'all are very romantically involved. I mean, y'all love each other. Y'all are sensual and loving towards one another. Uh, there may be some kind of critical decision you need to make. Yeah. And it could be concerning your relationship. There's a critical decision that needs to be made um, about your relationship, love, and togetherness. It could be about any of those. Um, or... Or it could be revealing a positive business partnership to come. Hmm. So, Capricorn, you may be having a job offer and teaming up to move forward in your life. Hmm. Yeah, this is binding y'all together. Yeah, that's a beautiful card. Okay, so the other card that we got that uh, in your third position, what binds you together, is the Six of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. So, it says you may need to recoup after a period of loss and confusion. You may be required to find a lifestyle that will create a sense of security for you so that you can find peace of mind. So, maybe you've been worried a little bit about your finances. Uh, maybe you don't feel like you've been putting in enough. This is also Taurus energy, but Six of Pentacles, when it's upright, it means like charity, generosity, or maybe sometimes overgiving. So being that it's reversed, it's going to be, um, maybe you've lost in your finances and it, it's confusing you of where your money is going. Like, um, I was doing good. Let's see. So you may be required to find maybe another position, a higher position in, in whatever your, I heard finance, but 
Um, I don't know if you work in finance or, uh, but yeah, maybe even a different lifestyle. Maybe just cut back on some of the not necessities, you know, something that you don't need. It ain't toilet paper, you know. Uh, maybe that uh, Gucci purse. No, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Um, but um, yeah, and then if you do that, if you cut back on this uh, ex whatever expense it is that it's saying that's a part of your lifestyle, then uh, it will create security for you, and then you'll have more peace of mind. But yeah. So, yeah, I think what it means, though, because it's in the third position of the true love spread, and this is what binds you two together, that maybe when you met, it could mean this for some of y'all, because I was hearing this, maybe when you met, um, you were at a point in your life where you felt loss and confusion, and then it was just kind of like a shining light, like they were your savior, you know, at that time. They were the only thing that really made you happy and helps you with the feelings of loss and confusion that you were having at the time. Um, yeah. Okay. Alrighty, so we will move on. Let's see. 11, 20, okay. What is it, Divine Creator? Can you please give us insight on card number four? <laughs> it flipped out right then. Okay, card number four is your strengths. Strengths, uh, this is Aquarius energy, so don't hold it against me, but it's the Seven of Swords, and it's upright. Okay. Hmm. Um, this is in your strength position, so what I'm feeling here is that you, uh, you're strong together during times that, let's see, whenever there are times in your life that nothing really seems the way that it's supposed to be, you kind of feel like everything is, um, and yeah, nothing is quite what it seems to be, and you have to use your wit to achieve your aims. So, I think you are strong together whenever stuff comes up against you in this relationship that uh, where you have to use your wit and and get in there. Just battle. Mm -hmm. Y'all are good at the battles and life together. Capricorn. That's awesome. Um, but beware of overconfidence, it's saying. And pay attention to the warning signs when they appear. So if there are some warning signs that maybe someone's being deceitful or it's not quite like it should be, you know, things just aren't adding up. Yeah. So there could be some failures that y'all have overcome together, which has really bonded you close and made you stronger. Also, um... One of y'all might have been real pessimistic without the other. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. So maybe uh, one of you were always the glass is half empty, but your partner showed you that the glass is half full. Okay, kind of energy. All right, thank you, Divine Creator. Can you please show us card number five? Card number five for the beautiful sign of Capricorn. And this true love, didn't jump out at me. This true love spread, please. All right, we're going to reshuffle. Time to reshuffle. So, hold on. I'm going to do it three times just for you, Crystal. <laughs> Love you, boo boo. Going to shout out to my girls, uh, Chanel and Deanna and Crystal. And who else was in there? Oh, anime, which is Kyra, I think. I believe your name's Kyra. Um, but thank y'all for showing up and supporting my live, even though I'm stupid Wi-Fi, man. Hopefully, I'll be able to upload this within, like, two hours, at least, surely. But I was having some trouble, and that's why my videos got deleted the first time, because I'd already done all these. <laughs> 
Okay, so what we're going into next is card number five, and that's going to represent the weaknesses or some things that you can work on in your relationship. Um, yeah, what you both need to work on in the relationship. Yeah. So tell me, please, Divine Creator, one more time. One more time. We're going to shuffle them good. We're going to get what needs to be said. And find that truth to lay down, right? Yeah, I feel it. Mm, Divine Creator, can you please give me a card that symbolizes the weaknesses that both of them need to work on? Just jumped out. When they jump out like that, I really know it's from the Divine. It is definitely important. Let's see. And then you had this one. And they were both in reverse. Hmm. So, guys, huh, your weaknesses are, in this relationship, something that needs to be worked on by both of you guys. Uh, hmm. One of you, or both of you, may act really indifferent in the relationship at times. Or could be extremely hostile because that's uh, what's coming up in this Queen of Pentacles reversed. All right. Um, something may be blocking your efforts, y'all's efforts for something in this relationship. Uh, yeah. And it's warning you guys to be cautious. Yeah. Okay, so it describes a situation where it might be coming in your relationship that you maybe should be really cautious about who you trust. Which, you know, we always say that all the time. But it's hard whenever, you know, you are someone that has these people in your life and you've been able to trust them for so long or whatever. You know, maybe you just met them and you're just trying to help them out. But we've got to be careful. The world is not like it was. So be careful of who you trust in your home and in your relationship and around you. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that for somebody. Like, almost like a vibe of some kind of hoochie mama coming in there in your home or hoochie daddy trying to get with your partner. Trust, okay? So be careful of that. Be mindful of it. Watch for the signs and listen to your intuition. I'm telling you, man, we ain't gonna lie to ourselves. We already know the truth. Okay, and also with that, in your weaknesses, came out the Page of Cups reversed. So, the Creator's really showing us some weaknesses here that could be uh, used. He made it very, or they made it very clear that these were weaknesses coming out in reverse. Let's see, someone may be trying to seduce you. What did I just say? What did I just say that I felt that this here, the Queen of Pentacles reversed, it's talking about be careful who you trust and let in your home and around your partner in your relationship because they're somebody trying to seduce you or yours. Mm -mm. We don't like them hoochie mama and hoochie daddies. We ain't doing that. Let's see. Um, so right now, y'all may be blinded or one of you may be blinded to the falseness of this person's intentions. You know, um, yeah. Or it could be flip-flopped. It could be like Capricorn, you or your partner is the seducer. Hmm. But um, it's warning you to be careful, even if you are the seducer, <laughs> that you um, be very mindful and be careful in the situation because you may be hurting yourself. Yeah, that's what I see. You may be getting hurt from this. So please be careful of that. We don't need no hoochie mama and daddies running around fucking up relationships that are great. Okay? All right. So let's go over where, where we started so far. The Six of Cups is where you are, Capricorn, in your relationship. And you feel nostalgia, happiness. Um, you may have known your partner from a, you know, childhood even. You may have grew up together, going gone to the same school together. So, um, there may be some reconciliation between you and your partner. Y'all may have been in a spat or maybe you hurt their feelings and you didn't realize it, but there's going to be some kind of reconciliation and, um, 
leaving the past behind, if that makes sense. Like something about in the past, reconciliation from some hurt or pain in the past, okay? Um, or you could be getting an apology. Uh, maybe not necessarily reconciling over it, but you may at least get that apology where they say, I'm so sorry. I do realize I was wrong. And then, last but not least, right now, uh, there may be some skeletons that are going to come out of the closet. Yeah. So you may be unlocking some skeletons out your closet that are related to the past. That uh, maybe getting it out in the air, getting it out in the open, and moving past it, or walking away from it. Because you walk away from what no longer serves you, Capricorn, right? You got to love yourself more. Okay, so your partner is showing up in the reversed Hierophant card, and that's a major arcana, and it's got the Taurus. It's related to a Taurus zodiac sign. Your partner could be a Taurus or um, someone in your life. You could be, yeah. Okay, so they right now, your partner is feeling a little smothered, maybe. Um, maybe they feel like... Uh, they want to overthrow your religious beliefs or the ideas that you bring to the table or in this relationship uh, because they feel suffocated and it's no longer serving them. <laughs> what did I just say? No longer serves you. Yeah, but it says uh, your partner may be getting ready to walk away if y'all don't get this under control. If whoever... I'm guessing it's Capricorn may need to give an apology to their partner. Yep. Or they're getting ready to walk away because they feel suffocated. They don't like all the rules, the regulations, all these, you know, stipulations in your relationship that are a part of it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. I have a cold. Um, Yeah. So, then we go over here to what binds you guys together, and it's saying that the lover's card binds you together like y'all love each other. Y'all have so much love. I think it's like a divine connection between you two, oh, some of you guys. I'm really feeling that. Also, um, there may be some kind of critical life decision that needs to be made. Uh, also, we received what binds you together is the Six of Pentacles, which I think, uh, you know, and I believe that... Spirit was telling me that you two may have met during a time of loss and confusion, and y'all were consoling one another. Y'all were, you know, y'all were the rock to hold the other one up, okay? Um, but to be mindful of your lifestyle, that may be uh, when it, in consideration of your money, because uh, if you're more mindful of your lifestyle and maybe some extra charges that you don't really need to have every month, then it could Create a sense of security for you. Maybe get you out of your mind. Yeah, you can find peace of mind is what it says. And then in your strengths, it says, this. you know, it's the seven of swords upright. Um, so maybe uh, what I'm getting is that uh, I think that you guys help to clarify what's really going on for one another whenever things are kind of confusing. Maybe you feel like you're being deceived. Maybe even your partner, I just heard maybe your partner calls those deceitful ones out to you so that you know and it gives you clarity. But I think y'all are really strong in this with each other. Can I'm going to get uh, some clarification on this card. You know, Divine Source, please, can you give me clarification on the Six of Swords, or the Seven of Swords card, please, for Capricorn. have to reshuffle. I don't think I'll ever make it under 20 minutes in a reading. Sorry, guys. Sorry if y'all are in a rush. Might want to read me in segments, or listen to me in segments, or while you're busy. Pop a headbutt, you know, like an earbud in and listen to me. Okay, so... Please, Divine Creator, can you clarify, give us a little more insight and clarify the strength with this Seven of Swords, please. Strength. How is the Seven of Swords strength? Okay. The 
Thank you. All right. So, yeah, it's doing some clarifying. It gave us four cards for your strengths. Capricorn, you'll strengthen your relationship. So, give me a minute. I'm going to channel it for a second. Let me look over these. So you have the Seven of Swords, the Strength card in reverse, again, in your strength position. Because I just did your reading live. And you also, in your strengths, you had the Strength card in reverse. Hmm. You've got a lot of the same cards, or I see a lot of them. Uh, a couple of them, anyway. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. And you got the Nine of Cups in your strengths again, too. Let's see. The Seven of Wands in your strengths upright. And the Four of Pentacles in reverse. All right. Okay. What I'm getting is that there may have been um, situations or indirect communications that were going on behind your back concerning your relationship um, and nothing really seemed like it should be or like nothing it says nothing is quite what it seems on the card so you didn't have the clarity that you needed in a certain situation but you guys are stronger because you used your wit to achieve your aims. So you made it through this with your partner using wit. Um, but pay attention to the warning signs of the Seven of Swords because sometimes it brings along failure and obvious pessimism. So I feel like what it's saying is that you are able to bring each other out of this energy or call this energy out to one another. Be like, hey, that ass is being deceitful to you. Don't, don't, don't listen to them. And then, you know, I think that you hold each other up whenever the other one is feeling like they don't know themselves really or that they're having difficulty really remembering who they are or, um, or even... Yeah, so I feel in that you're, you and your partner are stronger together during times that you struggle because you hold one another up mm -hmm. and uh, help each other figure out what to do in the situation. Like, y'all really rely on one another, you know? And so that's why you calling people out when they're deceitful to your partner, right? Yeah, it's going to be strong hold it down, but although, you know, this is a strength for y'all, be careful that you're both, like, paying attention to your own needs in the relationship, and able to communicate that, too, all right? Don't keep it from them. It's just going to make it worse. So, then it goes on to the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is a, a card of conflict. It's got Leo. It represents Leo's sign, and also the, um, The strength card represents Leo, and so that's two back beside each other. So you may be dating a Leo. You may have Leo in your chart somewhere. Um, but also, it's saying uh, you may have fallen into complacency, but now you're ready to face challenges. So um, although you may have been complacent at one point in this relationship, now y'all know how to fight the battles together. You face them challenges together. And uh, you have the strength to overcome those obstacles together. Yeah. So y'all are a power couple. I said that the first time, too. Golly. Yeah, because both of you are really good at taking calculated risks together. Um, and y'all have the courage to stand up for yourself and your loved one, your partner in the relationship. And that's standing up for what is best. And, uh, yeah. So you stand up for each other. That's a big strength right there. Yeah. You stand up for each other whenever one may not be feeling so good or 
not really know who they are at the moment, you know? Yeah, you help them figure it out. Hold them down, babe. Go, Caps. Go. <clears throat> okay, we have two more cards <laughs> for your strengths. So, again, you got, like, what, five cards for your strengths, power couple. All right. And you got the nine of cups again in your strengths. Mm-hmm, sure did. And it's upright. Mm, that's the perfect one. You got nine cups of love behind you, Capricorn. Yeah. He looks so content in this picture. This little guy, he's just sitting here like, mm, with a, a smirk on his face. And there's like nine full cups of water behind him. All surrounding him. Yeah. Okay, this is one of the best cards of the tarot deck. And um, it is usually referred to as the wish card because all your wishes have came true with one another. Yeah, y'all feel like everything you ever wanted in a relationship is here. And you've got what you've wished for. So, yeah, you're feeling real good. So, that's a strength that both of you are in that energy, you know. And you're happy. You have great joy and happiness in this relationship. Um, then we come to the Four of Pentacles Reversed, which is a... Um, it's a Capricorn card. Capricorn. This may be a strength in your relationship that you hold on to your finances. You see the pinnacles there? But just be sure that you're not holding on so tight that it, um, it's cutting off. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah. Don't hold on too tightly to your current circumstances. You need to have more trust in the universe. To provide solutions. Okay. So, Capricorn, you may be trying to make something happen prematurely right now. But the universe is stopping that because it's not time. Alright? Don't get in the universe's way because that shit's going to happen anyway. It's destined to happen. You're just making it harder on yourself. Alright? Yeah, and don't hold on too tightly to your current circumstances or situations or, you know, something that needs to change because then, you know, you're going to get into that negative energy. Yeah, and there's nothing good about holding on to things that no longer serve you. Yeah, <laughs> okay. All right, so those are the strengths, Capricorn, that Spirit has given us. Now, the weaknesses or things you could work on in this relationship are the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Now, um, y'all may block each other's efforts sometimes, is what I'm getting. One of you two uh, could be blocking each other in something that y'all are trying to achieve. Um, or you and your partner could be maybe moving in the energy of, like, indifference and not really caring what's going on. Fuck it kind of attitude, or you could be overly hostile, like maybe even aggressive, so don't be aggressive. Do not do that. Make peace and love, not war, <laughs> but um, also it's warning you of, yeah, it's warning you to be careful of who you trust, and especially around your partner, because um, could cause a lot of uh, wreckage up in the home because also in your weaknesses we have the page of cups reversed. Okay, and in this one, this card is saying that someone might be trying to seduce you or your partner because this is both y'all's, you know, weaknesses or something that can be worked on in the relationship. All right, and you're blinded to the falseness of their um, intentions. So you may think that they are just a good friend, the best friend ever, or um, a good business associate, and really they're back there trying to get some from yours. Mm -mm. Yeah. Watch out for them sneaky little slithery snakes. Um, and then also, you flip it because uh, you could be the one trying to do the seducing. All right. Um, let's hope not. I hope none of you are experiencing that, but, um, if you are the one that's seducing someone else, 
uh, while you're in this relationship, then you need to be mindful that you are going to get yourself hurt. That's what Spirit's saying. You're going to get yourself hurt in this situation. So be mindful. All right. Great Creator is going to give us a card. It's the final card for Capricorn. Can you please give me a card for the sign of Capricorn? Card number six. Thank you. All right. Gave me two of them. Gave us a little to work with. Let's see. All right. You've got the Eight of Cups upright, and that's Pisces energy. And you have the Page of Wands reversed, which is an Aries energy as well. I mean, it can be any zodiac sign, but, you know, they could. Your partner could be one of these, so. Um, the Eight of Cups represents whenever someone is walking away from something that no longer serves them. All right. You know that it's time to walk away in this. Not necessarily in this relationship, but I'm saying like whatever this situation is um, that no longer serves you. Maybe Page of Cups. That'd be a good start. Right there. I'm just saying. Just saying. I'm not judging. I do not judge. Because y'all don't know half the shit I've done in my life, okay? Um, I'm just letting you know what God's saying or the divine is saying. Talk to them about it, not me. Um, yeah, it it seems that you may need to turn your back on a situation and go another direction. Okay. What there isn't working, what's there isn't working, sorry. And they're not working... Whatever situation this is, it's not working like you thought it would, and you know it's time to bounce. Get the fuck out of there, all right? Quit whatever you're dabbling in. Quit whatever's no longer serving you, all right? Yeah, but you're in the energy of, I know what I want, and I'm settling for nothing less with this card. The Eight of Cups upright. Um, and then you had the Page of Wands come out in the last card. And this card is supposed to be um, showing what needs to be addressed in the relationship. So, uh, Page of Wands says something you were expecting might not arrive on time. I don't know if that's like a package delivery for some, some of y'all or a Christmas gifts you ordered from Amazon. Um, but whatever it is that you're expecting right now, it's not going to arrive on time. And this is going to need to be addressed along with walking away from what doesn't serve you anymore. All right. Um, there may be a message of un unwelcome news or bad news that comes at y'all that needs to be addressed. Or some kind of disruption in your life that will need to be addressed. Hmm. It also says, or you, uh, it might require you to travel to fix things, whatever it is, whatever this little message is. It's unwelcome news that is causing some disruption. All right. So, thank you, Capricorn, if you stayed this long. Sorry if you didn't. And um, I hope it resonated. Take what resonates, leaves the Leave the rest of that shit right here. I'll clean it up later. Okay? Love you guys. Peace, love, and light, Cappies. See y'all later, hater.